and welcome to Chai Time with me, Lakshmi. A lot of us know that self-esteem has a strong influence on our sexual relationships. What does low self-esteem do to our sexual relationships? Here's a conversation on this with counsellors Ajanta and Mahesh from InnerSight. Self-esteem uh, influences the power that uh, a person experiences in a relationship. And uh, if you're feeling either too powerful or if you're feeling powerless, then it leaves you vulnerable to be manipulated in, in uh, especially a sexual relationship. And so a low self-esteem um, can lead to sort of wanting to undermine yourself, yeah. give in, submit, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. suppose. Yeah, yeah. Or, or the opposite way. I mean, in, 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 a, in many uh, abusive uh, situations that come for counselling, uh, one often finds that uh, uh, the abuse pattern of abuse uh, stems from one part, one partner actually having uh, low self-esteem issues in social circumstances. That translating into abusive relationships in a sexual mm. uh, relationship. So while uh, you may feel, uh, you know, totally uh, useless or uh, don't feel valued in an office situation, say, you might uh, be taking it out uh, in your personal uh, physical mm. relationship, you know, sexual relationship. How do you recognize low self-esteem? What are the signs? To look out for. I think in the context of the con this conversation, I would say um, if if I'd see someone with uh, risky sexual behavior, uh, multiple sexual partners, putting oneself more vulnerable to situations where one could be exploited, uh, for me, I would think low self self esteem could be a reason. The way one would recognize uh, low esteem uh, is essentially by the kind of power one experiences in a situation. So if you're a single person and you find yourself unable to approach anybody that you actually like, it could be that you're suffering from lowest self-esteem. Let's say you're taking a job, for example. If uh, you just take whatever you get, you know, just settling for the designation that is offered. You're taking, for example, a company just offers you a systems engineer job while you're eight years experience and you would expect to be a senior systems engineer. If you just accept what you're given, then maybe there are uh, low self-esteem issues which need to be addressed. So how do you deal you know, with this issue? How do you deal with low self-esteem? First would be to uh, help the person, facilitate the person to, to, to be able to see his or her own strengths and then take heart from that and then look at other areas which could be worked on. A second uh, approach would be to look at uh, their own uh, experiential history and make meaning of that experience in a different manner. So re, re parent themselves in that uh, in the counseling work uh, re uh, orient themselves in terms of how they have made meaning of whatever has happened to them and recognize that uh, that they need not blame themselves that they are a product of from where they've come from but they always have choices so there's a lot of unlearning involved yeah a lot of unlearning a lot of relearning uh, and uh, a lot of focus on being able to look at your own potentiality and uh, recognize that whatever has happened, one still has options, one still has choices. There's always energy, there's always potential that one can still build on. It would be great if people who had low self-esteem had enough clarity and space to recognize that they had low self-esteem. In some cases, it would be, let's say, a spouse who recognizes you know, yeah. that their partner has low self-esteem. And, and it's hard then to broach the subject with them and to have an open conversation or maybe even bring that person to counselling where they can sort of start dealing with the, with the issue in a bigger way and, uh, and hope for change. What would your suggestions be on a, situations, on a situation like this? I think it's important that uh, the person recognising low self-esteem in another one that they care about uh, take steps to not undermine it any further. I would not advise that you tell somebody that you have low self-esteem, you need counselling. <laughs> that may okay. actually work uh, against uh, yeah. their best interest. So it might be better to uh, say that, hey, this is something you could uh, improve upon. You know, sp okay. Speak about it more positively. And uh, bringing in for counselling or uh, advising someone to go for counselling, I think uh, that can come a little later. Or that m might happen a little later. A person uh, might be quite defensive when you actually tell a person, may not be very receptive to the idea of coming in for counselling. Counselling is a very uh, voluntary process yeah. and the, the person needs to be able to invest in themselves and invest in that energy that is there in the counselling room uh, for them to actually benefit from it. And for an adult, uh, it is 
always helpful if somebody suggests it, but it's the decision to come into counselling is ultimately the person's. I think then I'll have to conclude the conversation with two thoughts. One is that no one can really jump to a conclusion about somebody else's self-esteem uh, because of two things. One, you don't really know what's going on in the other person's head fully mm -hmm. and, and, and their context perhaps, uh, where they've come from, their history. Uh, and perhaps you would have your own prejudices and, and judgments mm -hmm. as well. And the second thing is, I suppose, as a well-wisher, whether it's a spouse or a parent or a friend, um, I guess the only thing we can really do for a person that we feel might have uh, low self-esteem issues is to sort of open up the conversation to encourage them, you know, um, and sort of facilitate uh, a platform on, upon which they can then come back and have a discussion maybe if, yeah. should they want to, if they wish to, yeah. but you can't really take the horse to the water. Yeah. Yeah. On the particular behavior that uh, you're looking to change, instead mm -hmm. of making it an esteem issue, talk about, okay, you have these patterns in your job or you have these patterns in your relationship. Be more objective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Great to have you on the show. And thank you too for joining us on this episode.